This month, the Ordway in St. Paul is putting on Irving Berlin's White Christmas. The holiday favorite is about two veteran entertainers who follow two singing sisters to Vermont with romance on the mind. And we are so excited to have two of the actors joining us in studio. Brian Sostick plays one of the veteran entertainers. He is from Minneapolis. And Jenny Pearsall is in town from New York. So thank you. And she plays one of the singing sisters. Thanks to you both for coming in. Our thank pleasure. you for having us. So obviously this is a classic, but is there something maybe a little different about this or is it kind of true to the plot that people would recognize from back in the day in 1954? Well, I think a lot of people, if I may, uh, know the movie better yes. than the musical. Yes. And there are uh, a lot of similarities, but my kids keep asking me, I have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old, they keep saying, is this part in it? I say, well, Kind of. <laughs> so they've, they've taken it, you know, as you as you need to uh, change things around to take it from the the, uh, the screen to the stage. But yeah, it's the the story is basically there. And obviously, you can tell just by looking at the video. The costumes are great. The musical numbers so fun and upbeat. Also festive, though. Uh, Jenny, tell us what sort of you know holiday music people might be able to recognize. Well, certainly White Christmas. I'm dreaming of a White Christmas okay. they're going to recognize. Um, I, but I think a lot of the songs are not necessarily holiday classics, but Blue Skies, The Best Things Happen While You're Dancing. I think these are tunes that people are going to um, find themselves humming after they leave the theater and certainly um, will be familiar to them as they watch the show. And for each of you as actors, what do you enjoy about starring in a holiday classic? <laughs> you know, this time of year, does it get you into the holiday spirit a little more? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think there's a magical energy in this cast in particular. I think adding the holiday show element to it just adds that extra sort of buzz in the air. Can you speak to that? Well, you know, as a non-practicing Jew, I, I have to say, <laughs> this is the most holiday spirit I've felt for Christmas in a long time. It's we true. Like that answer very yeah. much. Yeah. Matt Brickman, who we will be chatting with too, will appreciate that. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I mean, the, the, the whole show actually was written by Irving Berlin, uh, a Jewish immigrant. Sure. He, he made White Christmas, the music White Christmas. Wow. Uh, you know, the, the iconic Christmas song, yeah. an immigrant Jew did that. And in fact, we learned um, in, in the uh, production process, Jamie Rocco, who's the director there, uh, let us know that really before the song White Christmas, there was no tradition of American um, popular holiday songs. Mm -hmm. They were hymns. Sure. You know, that's that sort of thing. Gospel yeah. But he, yeah. Made it. Yeah. he started it out. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to him, we have Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, right? <laughs> <laughs> what would we do without it? Right? Well, I know opening weekend was this past week when my mom went. She said she loved it. So, congratulations <laughs> on a great opening weekend. And, Ali, people can still see it, right? Yes. White Christmas is at the Ordway Center for Performing Arts, and it's going to be through December 31st. Tickets start at $41. We have more information. You can just go to WCCO.com slash links. Thank you to both of you for coming in, and I feel like on that note, you should you just wish Matt a happy Hanukkah. As we <laughs> talk to Not yet. Not no, yet. we've got Not a couple yet, of weeks but, to go you know. still. Yeah, you know, I think it's important to bring up how much our people have done for Christmas. <laughs> and 